Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now, we're going to talk about Jeff Fowler. And let me tell you, Jeff Fowler is not innocent. If you think he is, you're just a song fan. You're just a song fan who, who does not care about Sonic. You want to support Jeff Fowler because Jeff Fowler didn't care about Sonic. He just wanted Sonic to look like a joke, which he wasn't even meant to be in the original trailer. In the original trailer, he acted like Sonic, but in the free, but in the final film, he wasn't. Now, here's the reason why Jeff Fowler's Sonic the Hedgehog was successful, even though it was not good. So though that Jeff Fowler can make another movie just to cash grab people. Yes, Jeff Fowler is nothing but a cash grabber, a gold digger, and a liar. And in my opinion, he should have been arrested for this stuff. That's a crime that Fowler's making because you're not allowed to do that in films. He is not allowed to do that. Yes, seriously. Cash grabbing people ain't good. That's because you're lying to them. And guess what? They're lying to me about Sonic. See, now we're gonna get the old design. But then, he had to release the final film, which had nothing about the old design. And you didn't even connect his personality with the games. You made him not like Sonic. And also, guess what? You make him be a jerk, and of course accuse Tom of being the jerk. Which is not okay. That's illegal, that's a crime, and you should be arrested for that. Because you're not allowed to make crimes like And honestly, and I don't care if you have a family, I don't even care if you have a wife, because I'm gonna tell you that you aren't a nice person. You're a liar, you're a gold digger, and you're a cash grabber. You're cash grabbing people by just making the sign look like sign, but never act so though that you can support fans just to be a criminal. Yes, supporting fans is a cr because movies are not made for fans, they're only made for people and strangers. Not fans, not critics, people and strangers, only. That's the whole truth. And that's the reason why people go to the theaters. Not to see something that is unoriginal and unique. I mean, something that is just, you know, the same thing. They want new things. I'm serious. I'm being serious. Like, and seriously, Jeff. So, and first of all, Jeff Fowler, why do you have to change Sonic's personality when you can keep it the same? Why do you have to add stupid? Jokes in your films, like for why do you have to rip it off of Michael Bay's TNG to Ninja Turtles? And why you you didn't even bar? And why didn't you? I don't know. Make Sonic act like Sonic. Don't say me that he did act like Sonic. He didn't. He he acted like a five-year-old child. I mean, seriously.
and I would like to report to Paramount that Paramount, if you find your fellow, I hope that you fire him. Because he was being rude, being disrespectful, he was cash grabbing on people, he was being a gold digger because he cared about nothing but except for money. Just like you fans, because you didn't care about anything else other than Sonic's design, which is chaotic. Yeah. It's chaotic. I'm not trying to bull. And look, I'm not trying to bully anybody. I'm not trying to be mean to anybody. I'm telling the truth. And let's face it. I was telling the truth. I want to know the lies. Oh, by the way, I like to say that it's if if Jeff Fowler if I if I know that the song that hit Shark Sequel is gonna fail, which I think it would He's no longer going to have that job. And honestly, I don't want it. Oh, by the way, I don't want Jeff Fowler to touch this franchise. By the way, Jeff Fowler, don't you dare touch the Sonic franchise ever again. Palmo, fire him. Someone, please arrest him because he's making a crime. And Jeff Fowler never touch this franchise ever again. And also, stop blackmailing Tim Miller. And by the way, when Terminator Dark Fate comes out, people were just blackmailing the living crap out of Tim Miller. He didn't deserve any of that. He didn't do Terminator Dark Fate because for the fans, he didn't. If you think it is, that's because some of the characters he looks to other characters. But no, he was making a sequel that is a actual sequel to Tar there you are. That <sighs> you know took place not only in Terminal after Terminator 2, but also Terminator Genesis, because I think the one that I think the Terminator that kills Sean Connor would have been the same one in Genesis, because if you remember John Connor turned evil, and and basically well, and basically did not only that it could happen on adult John Connor, but also on little John Connor. Yeah, so that's why Arnold, aka the Terminator, had to take his life. I'm serious. By the way, and who cares about the cutscenes? Because I know somebody else could do who them as good as Jeff Fowler's. Maybe even better. No. And here's the thing about you people. Please stop blackmailing Tim Miller. He didn't deserve any of this. He was innocent, alright? He was just making his own daunting film. You need to stop blackmailing him. If you blackmail him, 
I don't have to report because you're not allowed to do that. You should have been happy for Tim Miller did. It's a black, it's a blackmailing him like he was. And even in the song the Hedgehog redesign, you could tell in the interviews he felt like he's not allowed to say anything that he wants to say. Is that right? No! That is not right! Please, for the love of God, leave Tim alone! It would have been fine if you le let leave Tim Miller alone. He didn't harm anyone, he didn't hurt anything, he didn't cause a crime. That's it. By the way, so who I want, so whoever I want to touch the Sonic franchise, it either needs to be Travis Knight or Jack Snyder. Sorry, it's just that I'm trying to keep my private, I mean, my systems in control because it's really hard because you're trying to do something that you don't want to do. So, by the way, Sex Iron, because he could have done something, because Travis Knight could have. You know, make you know the Sonic movie felt like Bumblebee. Why was Sex Snyder? He could do something original with Sonic, which, let's face it, I want that. Who cares about the fans? I want that. I want a Sonic who is dark and edgy. I am done with that kid friendly stuff. It didn't work for me, so. Please give me a dark energy for your Sonic. And please for the love of God, hire Zack Snyder or something like that. Because I feel like he could do Sonic justice. Because he could make Sonic kill just like... You know, what he did with his characters in his films. Yeah, basically, that's what I would have liked. Sure. And by the way, if you fans dare, dare accuse of sex help, of something harmful, you will, you will be reported. And you wouldn't like that. By the way, So, um, like I said, Jeff Bauer was not an innocent man. He was he was a criminal. By the way, whoever finds Jeff Fowler, please report this man because we can't let Jeff Fowler do this to Sonic. Sonic deserves his free will to want to be whatever he wants, not to be what the fans want him to be. And yes, support fences. Because guess what? Guess who's Jeff Fowler supporting? Guess which fans that Jeff Fowler is supporting? Bad fans. Basically, protesters who don't want Sonic to be anything new. And in my opinion, that's illegal. 
So please, for the love of God, give the Sonic franchise to Sonic Slayer or Travis Knight, because Because Sonic, I don't think he's gonna live. Sonic definitely deserves a change. So, please, for the love of God, find somebody who could turn Sonic into something original again, just like in the old trailer. If after that, hopefully that Sonic will be successful, and hopefully Sonic would have been. Finally saved. Because I don't like how they treat Sonic as this joke. They need to treat him just like how he was in the classics. A serious character. If you didn't know in the classics games, Sonic wasn't jokey or... You know, a creepy guy. He was a serious character. And basically, I hope they could have gone to that direction then again, but except darker, edgier, realistic, make Sonic feel less like a cartoon and more like a real life character, and that's it. Thank you for listening to my match. And please, fans, do not arrest me. And do not call the cops on me for that. Because I don't care what you say. You have no rights to say that Jeff Fowler is innocent in this matter. Because I know he's not. He screwed up Sonic. He only used Sonic just to get money. Which is illegal, because you're supposed to care about the character and get the money. Not just one thing. If you think about one thing, oh boy, you are not going to work on Sonic ever again. And I hope he doesn't, because he's doing something illegal. And you're going to accept that. Because we can't have people doing s movies just for money. That's illegal. You should at least care about the characters. And then after that, get the money, and that's it. By the way, Please. Higher Travis side or Sonic side. So that way that Sonic could be safe. Thank you for watching this message. And please. Remember. I'm telling the truth. And I'm not being a bad person. I'm just telling the truth. And we should learn from these mistakes and make sure that Sonic doesn't does not go make sure that Sonic does not go back to be unoriginal again. No gloves, not anything. Basically just White bare hands, just the old design, bugs and modify. And which actor to play Sonic? Probably Jesse Eisenberg. Since sure, Ben Schwartz did some good, but with the redesign, it was the whole script and that ruined everything. So I don't feel like that Ben Schwartz 
wants to play Sonic ever again because of that script. And I'm telling the truth because this is how Tim Miller truly feels. And Tim Miller, I want to say that I'm sorry. I hope this doesn't happen to you ever again. Okay? Because we should learn that Tim Miller is a nice person. And we should learn that Jeff Fowler is not a nice guy. I don't think he's a drug dealer. If he is, I will report that as well. Once again, thank you for listening to my message. And have a nice day. Bye. Make sure that Jeff Fowler doesn't touch Sonic ever again. He's not allowed to do that, and he's not allowed to work, go back to work on Sonic. Even if Sonic is a, a play Sega. Either do it now, or else. I mean, Powell, please do this, or else. Sonic is not gonna be saved. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry, it's just that I'm trying to hold in my system for this because I really do not like how my systems. And please, if you do have your ideas of a sequel, cancel that. Go for a reboot. That will make Sonic a whole lot. And please, for the love of God, Give me my PG-13 cut of Sonic the Hedgehog. With the original design of Sonic, with the original design of Tails, with the swears, and stuff like that. Okay? Have a nice day. And make sure. And let's hope, make sure that fans don't come back to Sonic ever again.